been a busy work day. I have been out all day getting a lot of editing done. It's actually been so productive. I also got to have a nice lunch and catch up with my friend, which I'm so happy about. It's 5.45 now and I'm going to quickly make dinner because I'm starving. Have a nice nourishing meal so that I can eat within my intermittent fasting window and then head off to a yoga class, which I'm so excited for. But first, I need to get these clothes off. Okay, I'm just getting changed into my yoga set because I literally have to leave as soon as I've eaten my dinner. I honestly had such a good day today, you guys. The sun was shining in the morning. I did my morning routine. I put on the cutest outfit, so I was feeling myself. And then I went to my favorite cafe, had a matcha, such a good lunch, met my friend, got to catch up with her. And then we literally did a solid, like, four or five hours of work uninterrupted so productive and so now i can have a really nice evening of winding down which is why i'm so glad i'm making time for yoga as well but for now let's work on dinner in the oven and now I'm just chopping up some peppers and onions and prepping my pan to put the chicken in and basically making chicken fajitas with sweet potato instead of the wrap but that's the vibe I'm going for we have an orange one as well I'm going to be cooking two peppers and two chicken breasts just so I can meal prep my lunch for tomorrow whenever I cook I always cook a two person portion just so my next meal will be sorted and it saves me time and this just means tomorrow I can fully focus on having a productive workflow and not worrying about any errands. And as always, I'm going to go onto my Blinkist app and listen to one of these book podcasts while I'm cooking so that I can have it stuck. I think today I'm going to listen to Talking to Strangers by Michael Gladwell. This is about how you read people. It's only 20 minutes long, so I'll finish it by the time I'm done with my meal. Chamberlain left Germany confident and satisfied. And some fresh salsa. I've got my water drop as well, which just makes my water flavored. Today I've got a blueberry iced tea, and I'm just gonna watch something super cash for the next 20 minutes while I eat this, and then it's time to head off to yoga. I'm not gay, I'm not that sexual. Well, I'm not that Back from yoga and I feel really light. 
Like that yoga was so meditative and it has done so much for my energy right now. It's weird because I feel a little bit sleepy, probably because I'm so relaxed. But wow, that needs to be a regular thing. I actually don't normally do yoga. I'm a weekly Pilates class girly and a meditation before bed girly, but that was a game changer. So I was just like, you know what? I know my evening is a little bit busy, but I'm gonna prioritize my happiness, okay? Because a lot of the time we have to create it. You can't find your happiness, okay? You have to be intentional with it. So I did that today and honestly, what a major win. Like, yes, I was productive, I didn't procrastinate, but sometimes you just, you gotta take it a step further than just fulfilling your responsibilities and doing your work. Sometimes it's about coming home to yourself and being like, actually, I took care of myself today. That is the biggest win, regardless of how much work I got done. I feel so good about myself right now. Self-love is on top. Right now, I'm gonna give my apartment a quick clean, just wipe down my kitchen um, after I make dinner, and then I'm gonna set the vibe. I'm gonna light some candles, and we can really get into the night routine. away and cleaning before I go to bed is honestly such a small step but the most important to my night routine because it just makes me feel like I haven't left anything to be done in the morning it means that I can have the most fresh start to my day and when I wake up I can walk into the cleanest living room and there's just no stress there's no clutter because believe it or not that really affects your mindset and your clarity for the day step is tea because my intermittent fast is over so in the evening I don't eat anything I just drink a nice cup of tea and I'm gonna drink spearmint the flat is all nice and tidy and I'm about to go sit down at my desk to do one last hour of work for the day because I really am not done. My schedule is just super jam-packed recently. But I just had like the best idea for a TikTok based on just my reflections throughout the day. You know, while I was making my tea, just walking around cleaning, I wasn't listening to music or listening to anything. I was just reflecting about my day. And honestly, I've had a really good day. It's been filled with really meaningful conversations because I saw my best friend and we were speaking a lot about just energy and vibrations and our goals and honestly we just always have the most positive most aligned conversation so i was reflecting about that and i had the best idea for a tiktok and in these moments i just have to i just have to record it because i feel so like passionate and inspired and my energy just flows to the screen so i need to take advantage of it simply because deep down they didn't really believe that they could so they placed their self-worth in the hands of another person and the opportunity got snatched away as a result it's actually so that crazy was so when you good. That I've done about an hour of work. I'm getting very, very sleepy, but right now I'm gonna do a little gratitude journaling session. Now my goal for 2024 was to journal much more often and try and do it every evening. To be completely honest, I have not kept up with that. We're two weeks into January. I have been doing it every Sunday, which is quite nice because those kind of journal sessions are more of a weekly reflection. Um, but this week I've decided I'm gonna be super intentional with it. I'm just gonna give it a go and try and make it into a habit. See if it aligns to my routine. If it doesn't, that's fine, but I have to give it a go. So as today is Monday, I'm just gonna journal about what happened today. Today was a really good day. So I just wanna write about that just so my future self can read a really nice wholesome journal entry and then at the end I always like to bullet point a few things that I'm grateful for just so I'm taking responsibility of my vibrational energy always making that it's higher so that I can increase my manifesting powers and also go to bed at a really good energetic level so then I wake up in a better state if that makes sense. Now that the day is coming to an end, I always open this app. It's called Habit on the App Store and I track all of my little micro habits every day and in the evenings I take it off just to stay on track with what I achieved that day. So I went to the gym, 
I woke up early, did my supplements, even did some spontaneous content, drank my three liters of water, did that, did that, did that, and even did that. And this is the only step left, which is self-care. And then last little habit, this is essential in aiding a quality night's sleep, which is super important for your productivity the next day, for your self-care, for your beauty, for your hormonal balance, literally everything. And now that it's 2024, the last little part of my night routine has actually changed. Now, I normally do my self-care, then I'll get into bed, I'll do some scrolling, I'll call my boyfriend, then I'll go to bed, but for the last two weeks, I've been so good about leaving my phone in the living room and once I enter my bedroom, it's a no screen zone. And that just means that I can empty my mind, I can go to bed right after a meditation or some reading, and then I get a better quality sleep. Plus, I don't stay in bed all morning scrolling because I have to get out of my bed to go and get my phone and then I can just start my day pretty quickly after that. So right now I'm gonna have my last little scroll of the day for like 20 minutes, go on my TikTok, check what's going on on Instagram, see what you guys are commenting on my YouTube videos, respond to some of them, and then call my boyfriend. I decided to edit a reel that I made in the cafe as well because that was in my schedule for tomorrow morning but I'm just feeling really motivated right now so I'm just going to make the most of it <laughs> You're already stuck and then well basically the last time we went you know how we were shooting and stuff once I finished catching up with my boyfriend, it's time to get ready for bed. And obviously I've put my phone away and I'm not gonna be bringing it into my bedroom. I've also laid out my gym clothes because it helps me get super intentional with my morning routine and the fact that I will be going to the gym. Then I head into my bathroom. Here I'm just cleaning up a few bits. I'm also setting my alarm clock guys all throughout 2024 so far. I've been keeping my alarm clock in the bathroom because it makes me have to get out of bed to turn it off and then I don't stay in bed. Then I'm gonna have an everything shower, get into my cute satin pjs i moisturize my body with the sol de Janeiro body cream give my teeth a quick brush and then i always follow up with a tongue scraper then i jump right into double cleansing with a cleansing balm and some micellar water before i actually cleanse these are the products that i'm using right now double cleansing just make sure you can remove all of that sunscreen and makeup you're wearing throughout the day i use the ordinary alpha r butin because it helps with hyperpigmentation around my mouth and then i've been trying out this new serum i've also been using the lush lip scrub in bubble gum which used to be my favorite as a teenager so I repurchased it because in the winter my lips have not been in a good state so I make sure my skin is nice and clean before I head into the bedroom put on my LED light therapy face mask and this basically has a timer for three minutes and for those three minutes every single evening I sit on my bed and I just do a very easy deep breathing meditation this I find is best to do right before bed it helps me stay grateful it improves my energetic vibration so I'm ending the day on a high note and then I get into bed and grab whatever book I'm reading at the moment right now I'm reading this book a manifest and I'm absolutely loving it I'll read a few pages until basically I feel sleepy and it's done so well at just knocking me out straight away my current Current routine is that I wake up at 7.30am but sometimes it changes and then it's time to go to sleep. Sweet dreams!